So any questions for any of our amazing panelists? Yeah, if you have a question, come on up to the microphone and ask, and we'll answer it. I see the movement. I'm moving. <laughs> Good acoustics, you can just yell too. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Donna O'Shaughnessy. We have a raw milk farm in Illinois, and I'm here representing the raw milk farmers of Illinois today because. Thank you. <laughs> we have just begun our struggle with the Department of Public Health in Illinois, and it's, it's uh, hitting us very quickly and very fast. Many of my families and friends worry about me on my blog and what I say and what I do, and they are worried that we have woken up the sleeping giant, and they think I need to be quiet, and I need to back down. And I wonder if any of you, and I'm looking at Mark because he's who I follow the most, if at any point have you ever regretted fighting back when they started coming after your pigs? I have not, but I'm from New England and I'm Irish. <laughs> and that has a lot of and I like to scrap. Is this a private yeah. fight or can anyone do it? <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Um, when it comes to fighting, you always want to have the sun in your opponent's eyes. You know what I mean by that? You want an edge. And if you react, you're you're, you're reacting to the first punch. You want to get the first punch. So, in your case, you can line your ducks up and actually be ready for them. Now you saw, if you were in the courtroom today, you saw how beneficial it was that we had all that video to watch. You know, and there could have been more. There could have been a lot more. And some of the videos that really touched me was when that lady was dumping, denaturing in 2,000 pounds of perfectly good milk, and that little Amish boy was standing behind there with his head on the tank like that. Powerful picture of that woman ruining perfectly good milk like that. I mean, no matter what the, the surrounding issues are, she ruined 2,000 pounds of milk. And so that, that photo was really good, and that photo can be used. So I say do it. I say do it. Bait them in and then take them down. And just, just remember that your opponent, well, let's just talk about the opponents over here. That last lady that was on the stand. <coughs> she doesn't mind a bit putting uh, Vernon and his 10 kids, she said she didn't know he had 10 kids, right? She doesn't mind for a bit, uh, for a moment, putting him out on the street, taking his livelihood away from him. She doesn't mind that. So you have to respond in kind. This is a, a very serious um, duel. And you have to be ready when you, when you go down this path. You have to be ready to push it in all the way to the hilt, if you know what I mean. Well, keep in mind, too, they have more resources than you do, oh, yeah. or I do, or all of us sitting up here. Um, their pockets are, are deep because they've been funded by our tax dollars. And I'm going to put a plug in for the Farm to Consumer Legal Defense Fund because without them, without them filing the lawsuit for us, we would not be sitting here. We would have been shut down three and a half years ago. Um, because as, as an individual, as a small farm, you, you can't, you don't, have the, you don't have the dollars to fight the government. So all of you, everyone, stop out at that Farm to Consumer. If there's a booth, get the information, sign up, send them money. This, they're, they're, they're behind Vernon here too. They, they, uh, they need all of our support. They need the farmer support. They need you as a consumer support. Please, please, please send the money because we couldn't fight without them. We couldn't. Thank you. I have a comment to what you just said. Um, yeah, they, they're, they're taking money out of our back pocket and sticking it uh, right in our back of the knife. That's true. And they do have resources that we don't have. But there are a lot of things that they don't have. They don't have. They don't have skin in the game. All right, this is kind of like, uh, this is kind of like the, when, when the Americans were in Vietnam, the Viet Cong had, if they lost, they died. All right, so they, they had total skin in the game. 
so it motivated them to fight harder. And I always go to, to war scenarios. But in our case, we're the farmers. We can bob, we can weave, we can adjust what we do. Um, and I've had to do this several times because my lawsuit has cost thousands and thousands of dollars. And so we've had to adjust what we're doing. Um, but if we lose, we're out of farm, we're out of business, we're looking for a new place to bed our kids down at night. The state employees win or lose. They don't, they don't lose anything. They still get their paycheck. And so every day that we fight them, we get stronger. And every day they fight us, they get weaker. 